Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello class, welcome back to our channel My name is Putri Ailestari But you can call me Mem Putri In this occasion, I will explain about Pragmatics Before we continue about what is pragmatics Firstly first, please subscribe this channel Like and comment Also share to your friend for making sure this material will be advantaging to others. So let's go. Again and again, what is pragmatics itself? See the example from this video. Do you like sate? Yeah, I really love sate too. Sate is one of the favorite food from Indonesia. When you and your friend want to buy some sate, what you ask to your friend? Do you want chicken sate? Or beef sate? Or you just say, are you chicken or beef? <laughs> Imagine that your friend didn't know what do you mean and you are in different situation and different condition that no buy the sate. Your friend will suppose you are asking that you are chicken or beef, not a human. So, what actually pragmatics is? Pragmatics is the study of language use, the study of invisible meaning, the study of meaning as communicated by a speaker and interpreted by a listener, the study of expression of relative distance and the study of relationship between linguistic forms and the users of those forms. According to some linguist experts, here are some definitions about pragmatics. Charles Morris famous definition of pragmatics was the study of the relation of signs to interpreters. And Levinson's consideration of pragmatics was the study of those relations between language and context that is grammaticalized or encoded in structure of language. Meanwhile, May's definition was pragmatic studies, the use of language in human communication as determined by the conditions of society. And Rang Yongping expressed in his idea in his book, a survey of pragmatics, said that Pragmatics is a discipline not only concerning the sense but also concerning the derivation of sense and the understanding of underlying meaning as its objects. Nowadays, pragmatics has new development in which many scholars begin to do cross studies such as interactional sociolinguistics, interlanguage pragmatics, cross-cultural pragmatics, pragmatics and translation, pragmatics and language teaching which contains two pragmalinguistics and sociopragmatics, cognitive pragmatics and clinical pragmatics. Pragmatics is also a branch of general linguistics like other branches that include phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, and semantics. Do you still remember what are those? Okay. Let's see the examples of pragmatics. Can I borrow your Shakespeare? Yeah, it's over there on the table. Your Shakespeare means your Shakespeare book. And the speaker should be saying, yes, you can, as a literal meaning. But the speaker answers the location of the book as the pragmatic meaning. What time do you call this? In the literal meaning, what time is it? And literal response, a time. For example, 20 to 1. But in pragmatic meaning, it's a different question, entirely, why are you so late? And the pragmatic response explain the reason for being so late. 
so many different between literal meaning and pragmatic meaning and also different literal response and pragmatic response we are in the end of this video the conclusion is pragmatics acts as the basis for all language interactions and context Therefore, without the function of the pragmatics, there will be very little understanding of intention and meaning. So, here your assignment and please share it into your WhatsApp group. How if there is no pragmatics in the world? Can you imagine? So, Thank you for your attention and don't forget to subscribe this channel, like and comment, also share to your friend for making sure this material will be advantage to others. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye!